In this tutorial, we're going to look at different ways of creating surfaces. So let's go ahead and start with a curve. I'm going to type in curve and just draw some curves. I'm going to right click when I'm done with the curve and I'm going to right click again to re execute the same command. Um, I'm then going to keep my snaps on and start my next curve at the endpoint of my previous curve. So I'm going to do that until I have four curves. Great, and I'm going to select each of these, select the control points, and just move them up using my gumball just to add a little more three-dimensionality to this surface I'm creating. Okay, so if I want to create a surface using those four curves, I can go to Surface or type in Curve Network, then select my curves, hit Enter, OK, and that will create a surface using those four curves. If I delete that, I can also create a loft. So I can select two curves that are across from each other, type in loft, hit enter, and that will create a surface that's between those two curves. So you can see it ignores the other curves and just creates a surface between those two. You can always change the style to see which one works best for you and align the curves if they are flipping. OK. The next one I'm going to show is extrude. So you can type in extrude curve and that just extrudes the surface from a curve. You can also revolve. So if I select this curve over here and type in revolve, this will revolve that curve around an axis. So it asks you to do a start point of the axis. So I'll put a point out over here. And then if I hold down shift, I can draw a straight line and select the end of my axis. It then asks for the start angle, so go ahead and hit enter, and then the revolution angle is 360, and that would be a full revolution, so that's 360 degrees. If you wanted only half a revolution, you could choose 180. And you can see that then creates a revolve surface around that axis using that curve. You can always select the surface and type in cap holes, and that will cap the ends of that rev revolve surface. Um, another thing you can do is if you join all of these curves, you can create a patch out of a, a set of closed curves. So I can type in patch, and then you can change the number of U and V spans. So U's are um, one direction of curves on a surface, and V is in the other direction. So the more of these you have, the more that surface will be close to the curve geometry. So I'll go ahead and say preview. You can see it's not exactly on the curve, so the more of these you have, the closer that will become, but also the more complex the surface. Go ahead and say OK. And then the last one I want to show you under surface is the corner points. So this is really useful if you just want a very quick four point surface, and you just click four points there. And just like everything else, you can um, move the edges, like if I want to move edge, I can select the edge of this and move the edge.